morning, everyone. It is time for Tip Tuesday. You guys spoke. You said you enjoyed last week's, which was like top 10 things to remember when you're taking off for your trip or in rewind coming home from your trip. So we thought we would do another one. I don't even know how many tips I have this week, but they're going to be around buying your first RV or even maybe your second RV. You should know what you're doing by your second one probably, but maybe not. So one of the first things I can tell you guys is know your tow vehicle. It helps so much when you go to a dealership. I know here at Walnut Ridge, I can speak specifically to this place. We do do an interview when you come. That was a mouthful. We do do an interview when you come and we ask some of those questions. You know, what are your in intentions with the camper? Uh, what kind of tow vehicle you have? Because I'm sitting inside one of our Montanas right now. This thing weighs 12,720 pounds. So even though it is absolutely beautiful in here and you're probably going to fall in love when you walk into it, if you've got a quarter ton truck, you're just not going to be able to pull this. So it not only helps you with setting realistic expectations when you're coming in, but it also helps us narrow down. You know, we have 66 acres of campers, I think 300 plus campers on the lot. So it can be a little overwhelming. So tip one is know your tow vehicle. Tip number two, do some research before you come to a dealership. Like I said, we do an interview process here. I don't know how that applies to all the other dealerships, but that interview process, we're gonna try to narrow down and find out what your exact needs are, size of your family, how often you're planning on traveling with it, going back to the tow vehicle from tip one. But, you know, online resources, Facebook, uh, if you follow us, if you're seeing this on our Facebook page, you probably follow us. We post daily walkthrough videos of all of our units that'll kind of help you see colors, layouts. This one is the 364. This is the 364 BHL. This one is actually a second bedroom. I'm not even in the master bedroom. So knowing that we have a, a floor plan like this or knowing a dealership has a floor plan like this can really help once you get there and uh, narrow down for what your needs are. Tip three, know what you and your family or you intend on doing with your camper. Are you gonna take it on vacations like my wife and I do? Or are you just a thrill seeker, adventurer that's gonna hit the, the great unknown, the path left less traveled? I can't talk today. Um, for instance, this clipper, it's more about the destination than it is the camper in my opinion. Like this is very roomy, but I wouldn't want a vacation for a week or two in this camper. Like it doesn't fit my needs, but easy to tow. Jeep Wranglers will pull this and you can hit some of those places like Glacier National Park where the roads are super tight and windy. You can fit in places that I could never get in with my big fifth wheel. So Knowing kind of what you and your family plan to do with your camper is going to help you so much when you come to buy. Tip number four, and it really comes after you buy your camper. You wash your car, you maintain your car, you take it to get your oil changed. You've got to do the same thing with these campers. As you see, they have slides, they have seals, there's seals up on the roof, there's vents on the roof, there's windows, there's everything. Take care of your camper and your camper's gonna take care of you. You know, these things go down the road at fast speeds. You just wanna keep an eye out and check those things on a regular basis. Tip five kind of goes back to the do your research, but it's, it's also ask lots of questions, okay? Here, and again, I can only really speak to here, we have a zero fee guarantee. That means when you see this price, that's what you pay for. When you get into our financing office, there's no additional fees, there's no docking fees, there's no transport fees, there's no nothing, like that's it. The only time that price is gonna be different is during one of our sales where we had like take an additional thousand dollars off, but it's never more than what you see here. So that goes back to do your research, ask your questions, uh, Google the place before you go, look at some of their Google reviews. Uh, you know, those are important. I, I handle our uh, Google reviews here I can't delete people's reviews. I can respond to the reviews, but I can't delete them. So you're going to see the honest, true opinion of a dealership. And that will also tie in not only for your buying price, but you can look at their service department. Uh, you know, tip four I was talking about, make sure you take care of your camper. It's nice to have a trusted service department that you can call anytime and ask questions. 
you should get an advisor. Like that, that just should happen. They should be your advisor. You call them, you have questions, they're there to help you. I know here our sales team continues their relationship with you because Greer and I working in the marketing department, we like to engage and interact. We like to see where you guys go on your adventures. It's a long-term relationship. But you know, if you're not gonna plan a relationship with the dealership, those are the things to look for. Hidden fees, ask lots of questions, look at their Google reviews, and pay attention to what kind of service department they have. So this was Tip Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have something of a specific topic, leave a comment down below, and we'll be sure to do it for next Tuesday. Thanks, guys.